This really happened to me today, and I really wanted to get it down somewhere and let people know. This company called me and asked me, they, meant, they name dropped one of my clients, another business, and then they asked me, basically they said they were calling to get any passwords that I had for the company. Yeah, that's right. A professional IT services firm, someone from there called me asking for the passwords to one of my customers. I had not heard anything of this company from the customer. When I contacted said customer, I know the owner of the business, I contacted the owner and they didn't know who the company was, although we agreed it could have been someone subbed out by someone else that they use. They have different people for things like VoIP phone systems, you know, etc. Uh, they have to work with a lot of vendors, so it could have been someone subbed by one of those people, but he had no clue who I was talking about. You know, the people that were calling asking for all the passwords to the company. So I let him know, but I just, I still can't believe that this really happened. Listen, here's the bottom line, okay? If you run an IT services firm and you get a call asking for passwords for one of your customers and you give out those passwords, you're stupid and you don't deserve to be in IT. You do not deserve to be in business. You are a major security risk and you could be held liable in the future. On the flip side, if you are a professional IT services firm and you call, unsolicited, call another IT services firm or even an individual and just outright ask them for the passwords, all the passwords, but for passwords to a company you're an idiot and shouldn't be in IT. I'm withholding the company's name because, you know, I don't know exactly what was going on. And I did call that company to find out if it was them that actually tried to call since it was an 888 number that called me. But it was still weird. And I, I called them mainly as a courtesy in case it wasn't them and someone was lying and saying that they were them. Now, I have reason to believe it was them, which, again, <laughs> if you're an IT services firm and you're calling people asking them to give up their passwords and they don't know who you are, you're an idiot and should be out of business. Yeah, that, that, that happened to me. This really happened. It happened today. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. Man, I wish I had been recording that phone call. It was like deer in headlights. Did they really ask me that? Yeah, 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 nope, nope. And I told them, I can't hand out passwords. Click. And that was the end of that. Pretty sure I did what's right, but you can let me know in the comments if you disagree. Or if you agree. Tell me if you have stories like this too. I'm really curious. I'd love to read some more stories about dumb things like this that IT people have to put up with, especially from other IT people. Like, comment, subscribe, look down in the description and maybe at the bottom of this if I edit it for ways to support me financially. You know, I'd love to get cash for telling stories on the internet, and that'd be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and take care. Bye-bye. Also, check out my other channels, uh, Jody's Spicy Takes and Jody's Stock Footage and VHS Archives. Have a good one.